When you log into ZoomShift, you can access Calendar View under the Schedule tab. You can shift between monthly and weekly views, and you can click on any date, which opens up a new shift form. At the top left, you'll find the five different views available in ZoomShift. Let's start with the team member grid. In this view, you'll see the team members on the left and the week ahead on the right. You can click on a team member's name and you'll open up a new shift form. When we click on the position grid, you'll see the positions you've created on the left with the weeks ahead on the right. When you click on a date, you'll open up a new form with the position auto-filled. When you switch to the location grid, it works in a similar fashion, with location on the left and the dates to the right. Click on a date and the form opens with the location auto-filled. With any one of these grids, you can click the New button in the upper right and click Shift to create a new shift. Let's start by creating some open shifts. An open shift means that anyone who is qualified can pick up the shift. When creating open shifts, you can select the number of shifts, then the hourly wage. If you leave this blank, it will default to the hourly wage of the person who picks up the shift, or you can manually override that by entering in an hourly wage for the shift. In the next row, we can set position and location. You can create your own positions and locations in settings. With positions, you have the freedom to create different positions or variations on positions. Locations can be different areas within your business or different business locations. On the next row, you can set the dates, start and end times, and the number and duration of breaks. You can also place preset shift times into the shift tool by using the settings menu. Finally, you can set the shift as an open shift available to anyone with the proper qualifications, or you can send the offer only to team members that you select. By selecting the Copy tab, you can copy this new shift offer onto other days of the week. You can even copy to future weeks using the options available in the New Shift tool. By clicking Save, Zoom Shift creates the new shifts and adds them to the schedule. Another approach is to assign a new shift directly to an employee. Start a new shift as before, but use the drop-down menu to select the team member you want to assign the shift to. Select an employee or group of employees, then look on the upper tab for assignments. Each employee will appear, and you can then assign them to the position and location you want them to cover. If an employee has a primary position, the tool will automatically assign them to that position. There's also an option to make notes on the shifts you create. Notes can be set to public, visible to everyone, if you want to communicate with everyone. By making the notes private, only managers can see the information. When you create a shift for multiple people, you'll receive a note letting you know that you've created multiple shifts. You can turn this off if you desire. Once you've confirmed, you'll go to the schedule page where you'll see all the shifts you've created and review them. So you don't have to repeat your work, you can copy previous weeks or create weekly templates from the work you've done. You can name templates, add descriptions, and create as many as you'd like. You'll notice that the shifts you've created have gray lines. They'll stay that way until you publish them. This lets you make changes by dragging and dropping blocks. You can move shifts to different days or different locations. You can do the same on the team member grid. You can move shifts to different people by dragging and dropping. When you've got everything the way you want, you can publish by clicking the Publish button in the top right. You can check the dates, enable notifications, and add messages. If you want, you can notify all team members as well. Once you've published, you'll see that the gray lines disappear. This means that your changes are public. Finally, if you go to Settings, you can set how employees are notified. You can select notifications by email, mobile app, text message. You can choose one or more methods for notification.